Well, hello, fabulous LA and everywhere else in the world. You are now tuned into the upload with Danielle and Yolanda. This is the only show dedicated to entertainment enthusiasts. Want to get into the entertainment industry, but not sure how to? Who do you call? Where do you go? Where do you start? Well, this show is definitely for you. On today's show, we have legendary music video director Dave Myers. But before we get into that, let's get into the scoop. Danielle, what's up? Thanks, Yolanda. And now it's time for the scoop. You guys, I am so excited for two reasons. One, this is our first show and it's finally premiering. Two, Lee Daniels, the creator of Precious, the director of Precious. He is up for a possible nomination of the Academy Awards for Best Picture. I mean, it's amazing. I'm so happy for him. Tyler Perry got behind the project. Oprah got behind the project. And they really did their thing. It was amazing. Good job. I'm just really excited about Me that. Me too. <laughs> Yolanda, let's get started with Dave. He's one of the biggest music video directors of our time. Dave Myers has directed over 108 music videos, and he's worked with some of our favorite artists like Britney Spears, Pink, Missy Elliott, T.I., Outkast, and the list goes on and on and on. Dave Myers has received numerous awards from BET Awards to VMAs to awards in Sweden and Australia that I've never even heard of. This man needs no further introduction. Everyone, please help me welcome Dave Myers. Okay, so thank you for being on the show. We really are excited about it. Uh, where, you're Right now, you're in L.A., right? I am. Okay, in L.A. Um, so I'm going to ask you this question. When did you first make the conscious decision that you were going to be a director? I think when I saw Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay. When I was a kid, yeah. And what about that made you like decide, I want to be a director? Um, just the ability to, to kind of create fantastical worlds and take, mm. take people on the adventure, the way it made me feel, mm. just sort of uh, gave me inspiration to just, you know, look more into it. And, you know, Star Wars kind of made me love movies, and then Raiders came out a few years later, and mm -hmm. I was older and understood what directors were. Right. So... Okay, um, did you create a lot of, in the beginning, starting out, did you create a lot of your own work, or did you all, were you always lucky enough to get jobs? Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did, I mean, I went to film school and had to do films there, so those weren't, those, you know, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, when I came out of film school, I, I uh, had to temp at the studios uh, for a while. Mm -hmm. And I went ahead and shot a spec video that I paid for out of my temp money, okay. which was very difficult. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and then I shopped. I shopped. Uh, you know, back in the day, we had videotapes before DVDs and all that stuff. <laughs> we remember. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, we. Uh, it was expensive to send your reel out, so I had to. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I was working at Paramount, and they I, they had all the, they recycle all their Star Trek tapes, and that was a bit of a hustle, you know. I got I took their Star Trek tapes and put my reel over it, and sent it out, and it was probably two years before I got my first paid job, wow. and then it took another year after that to get a second paid job, wow. and then um, you know, so it was probably a good three or four years of of hell uh, and hope, mm -hmm. and uh, and then I got jobs and. And so money started flowing, but I got, you know, just creatively jobs that never, no one ever saw. So I did like probably 30 or 40 music videos before my first one hit MTV. Wow. And so, uh, what was the first one that hit MTV? Um, Kid Rock, Bah Wada Bah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, you yeah. said that you had a lot of, um, you know, it was kind of two years of hell. Was there a point where you just wanted to completely just give up? I still do. <laughs> no. um, it's uh, it's kind of a, uh, you know that that's a. Uh, I sort of have used that feeling as a marker of how much commitment I have to give it. Mm. You know, so if I'm not going hard enough to want to give up, you know, or wait, let me how, how do I? In other words, I feel like I feel that feeling a lot. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, when I feel that feeling, it actually uh, reminds me I gotta work harder. So I I, I don't know. It's it. I think it's a uh, a character building part of uh, being in this industry. Um, we know that you're one of the most cutting edge directors in the industry. And in the, in early 2008, you directed your first video. Well, well, actually the first video, the first 3D video with Missy Elliott. 
What motivates you to keep oh, you pushing? Did your homework. <laughs> what motivates <laughs> you to keep pushing the envelope and being so creative? Um. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I guess that's just sort of, uh, it's just sort of who I am, you know, I mean, going back to Raiders of the Lost Ark, I always dream of fantastical things, and um, and then, interestingly enough, I, I now dream of real things, because uh, I've been, you know, doing fantasy stuff for so long, mm -hmm. my wife helps bring the reality to my table, <laughs> and so I've... Uh, gotten really intrigued by telling more drama stuff and, and artful stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so you've worked with like some really interesting, amazing people. Who is the most interesting person you've worked with? And can you tell us like maybe a, a story? Give us a little story. God, I mean, I, I feel like a great deal of them are interesting. I think mm. part of the reason they're famous is because they're interesting. Mm. Um, you know, I feel real blessed to have seen, uh, you know, I, I find... I really enjoy listening when I meet those people, yeah. and um, I've gained a lot of like uh, sort of just knowledge uh, from uh, from just listening. You know, from uh, I mean, I, th I find uh, probably the, you know uh, Jay Z was fascinating, uh, Dave Matthews was fascinating. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, so I just I think I gain worldly perspective and and a way. You know, being around so many successful people, you sort of see what makes them tick, and you start to you start to see similarities. They're all very different personalities, but you see similarities in excellence, mm. and um, and you realize every last one of them was working really hard. All the ones that are at the top, that is true. and uh, so it just it kind of is a reinforcement of of just kind of sticking with it and and uh, and paying attention and and uh, you know and, and it just. It, yeah, I mean, I, it would be too long to really go into all the different advice I got. Yeah. It's been a, been a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> well, of all the recognition uh, and awards that you received, which ones have meant the most to you? Um, my Missy work, really, I, I really feel yeah. proud of. I, I, honestly, I actually have won awards for the stuff that I'm most proud of, my, my Missy and my Pink work. Uh, the Missy and Pink are the two artists that really let me kind of stretch. Um, some, there's other artists, Dave Matthews let me stretch, but he's not really an MTV sort of artist, he's, uh, so that he doesn't get acknowledged by them as much. Um, but of the MTV crowd, um, Missy's always demanding me to do something new, something fresh, <laughs> something, you know, like, yo, Dave, better be hot! <laughs> you know? and, then, uh, and then Pink has become kind of like a like a sister almost so yeah. you know having done 16 videos with her you know it's sort of like you know it, it's almost like her career and her success is in my hands yeah. good for them david's just getting deep i uh -huh. mean <laughs> you asked yeah and we yeah thank you all right so i have a twitter question for you Jessica, who's an up-and-coming director, she's really ready to start shopping her reel around the different Asians. What do they look for? Can you help us out with that? 